Good morning, Coach Graves. How you doing? I'm well. Good morning to you. How's everything going? It's going well. Thank you for asking. Again, appreciate you uh, joining us on the teleconference this morning. Um, for uh, everyone on the call, I mean, we, this is the first time we get a chance to talk to you this season, so can you start us off by giving your thoughts on the uh, season so far, dating back to the non-conference play and now uh, with these first five games of Sunbelt action under your belt? Well, for us, uh, obviously, we got off to a, a terrific start, um, one of the best starts in school history at 5-0, and uh, and a really good win to open the year at UNLV, and um, we we uh, played well. We were 6-1 and one at one point, and uh, hit a little bit of a, a snag around finals time, and, uh, you know, holiday break, we, we, we struggled a little bit, but, uh, you know, I felt like we were able to uh, regroup, and you know, despite being uh, two and three uh, in conference play early, I feel like uh, we're still playing some pretty good basketball. Um, you know, all our first four games in conference play, uh, very uh, tightly contested games, and uh, even the game with uh, Texas Arlington, I felt we did some good things and had a two or three minute stretch where uh, we kind of let the game get out of hand, but. Uh, you know, overall, I feel like uh, I know in my four years now being in the Sun Belt, uh, this is by far and away the most uh, competitive, balanced from uh, you know top to bottom that I've that I've ever seen. And you know, even people that have been in the conference longer than I have uh, just talk about how uh, you know each night is, is going to be a battle and a war. And I I don't think there's any nights that uh, you can take for granted. And it's going to be an exciting, uh, you know, second half here of the season as we as we head into play. Coach, your team really gets after on the defensive side. You're one of the top teams in the nation in turnovers forced. What's really the key to your defense forcing that many um, t changes of possession? Well, I think the the biggest thing we we need to rely on our, our defense to uh, get us going offensively. We we've got to be able to score. Uh, in transition um, in order to have some success. And uh, we've put a lot of emphasis this year on uh, being really active and, and versatile with the way we uh, defend and uh, how aggressive we uh, swarm to the basketball. And I think, you you know, just as you mentioned by the numbers, uh, with our turnover percentage, uh, we've made uh, significant uh, improvements in that area. And if we can get our you know, offense to uh, continue to get a little bit better as, as it's shown here in conference play. Uh, you know, we're going to be a tough team to beat down the stretch. Coach, one of your leading contributors is Ken Williams. Um, he's a senior. He's closing out one of, you know, the best careers in South Alabama basketball history. What's it been like to coach him the last few years and to see him develop now into his senior season as one of the leaders on the team? I've really enjoyed, uh, you know, working with Ken and, and getting an opportunity to really see him grow and develop, uh, you know, throughout the four years. And, you know, that's one of the, uh, you know, unique things uh, really for college basketball in this day and age. But, uh, you know, especially uh, here at South Alabama is you've, you've not had a lot of four-year guys that have come in and, and played from their freshman year all the way through. And, uh, for various reasons, and uh, you know, with him and Georgie Boynov to be, uh, you know, two four-year guys that uh, ha have been here with the program, and uh, just to watch them develop and uh, grow and mature, and uh, you know, get to get an opportunity to finish out this uh, senior year year really strong. Coach Josh Ajayi is another contributor to your team. He had a um, interesting journey to where he's been now at South Alabama. Um, what's really been the key to you know his his journey through um, you know getting to South Alabama now his progression to being a key contributor for your team. Well, I think uh, first and foremost you you've got to credit Josh for uh, you know putting in a lot of hard work. Yeah, you know, he set out uh, last year uh, as a as a red shirt, and when he came into our program, uh, he weighed about 275 pounds, and now he's down to. Uh, 245, 250, and his body fat's at about 7%, which is uh, remarkable. And it just goes to show the, the hard work that he's put in. And uh, he's really worked on his, his ball skills, uh, his ability to uh, play out on the perimeter a little bit with his three-point shooting. And you know, I feel like he's one of the top two or three freshmen uh, that we have in this entire league. And uh, he has an extremely 
uh, you know, bright future ahead of him in a South Alabama uniform. Coach, as you mentioned before, Georgie Boronoff is one of the key um, student athletes on your team, a senior. What does he bring to your team? Well, I think uh, with Georgie, he brings a versatility. He's able to, uh, as, as a skilled big, he's able to uh, make threes at a really high rate. Even though he's you know, struggled here in, in conference play, uh, I feel like that uh, anytime he gets an open look, it has a chance to go in. And then with his versatility, he can really score – um, on the block, he's got kind of a, a unique game that uh, you know it's hard to match up. He's really uh, loose with the ball, and, and, and defenders sometimes have a hard time figuring out where he really is. And he pursues rebounds very well on the offensive end. So I think he just gives uh, guys a, a hard matchup because of his uh, versatility to play inside and out. And, Coach, lastly, uh, the upcoming stretch has you going to Little Rock and Arkansas State this weekend. Um, can you preview those two games coming up for your team? Well, I think it's going to be, uh, you know, extremely difficult. Um, anytime you go on the road, uh, it's hard. But, uh, you know, Little Rock, uh, you know, had our number last year, and uh, we did not play well against them. So uh, we, we've got our work cut out for us. They, they provide uh, a lot of unique challenges, uh, but especially their ability to – uh, have an inside and outside attack. I think, uh, you know, Soshi is one of the best, uh, you know, post players in the entire league, and then their guards really make it difficult for you to defend. And then uh, I think Grant's doing an excellent job at Arkansas State in his first year, and they've got the ability to spread the floor and uh, make a lot of threes or, or drive and get you in foul trouble. So we're going to see two different styles of play and uh, go out on the road and, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, compete and give ourselves a chance to uh, – you know, win as it comes down the stretch, just like we did, uh, you know, with the Georgia schools. We gave ourselves a chance to win. Uh, just unfortunately, didn't. Uh, you know, we came up a little bit short. Well, Coach, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time today.